Oh, jeez. Amber Crombie, Amber Crombie, you done fucked up this time. Mmm. I just love the smell of dumbass in the morning. I, I really do. And guess who else loves the smell of dumbass? This beauty right here. Want, let's take a closer look, shall we? Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, you see that? That's, that's a quality blade right there. You see that? Yeah. Uh, jeez. Oh, don't worry. This. See, Amber Crombie, after reading your little article, I want to take my sword, Hoshmal, and cut up every single piece of clothing I can find from any of your stores. Like, y congratulations! You have motivated me to go to your stores and buy your clothing just so I can take them and chop them up into little pieces. So good job in that regard. Now, I bet you're all wondering, why are you, why are you mad about this time, Wrathful Lion? Well, it's simple. See, Amber Crombie and Finch, see, here's the thing, if you're, if you're like me, and you weigh a certain amount, or you're a woman, and you're not exactly thin, or like a skeleton or anything, well then guess what, Amber Crombie and Finch doesn't want you in their store, and they really don't want you wearing their clothes, so, from now on, they only want, as they say, thin and beautiful people. Which means all you ladies who aren't exactly thin and beautiful, who aren't thin and beautiful, well, you just gotta scoot your little ass along and go to a fucking bargain bin or something at Walmart or something if you want to get some clothing. I'm sorry. Hmm. Yeah, um, Amber Crombie and Fitch, I don't know if any of your employees are watching this, but if they are, see these? See these right here? Yeah, take them, shove them in any orifice you can find. Because, let me tell you right now, this does not come close to conveying how I feel about you and your, and your fucking mindset. Your, your, your ego, your arrogance knows no bounds. You are just, you are pieces of crap. I never bought your clothing before, and this has pretty much, this has pretty much made it, made it clear to me that I will never purchase any of your fucking clothing. I have absolutely no motivation to do it at all. I mean, I didn't have any motivation before, mind you. I mean, your clothing is fucking expensive as hell. It only comes in like, it only comes in like three sizes, and the normal size is like a small compared to other sizes, which to me is just freaking stupid. If it's not a small, then don't, then if it's, if it's a small, then call it a small. But no, you're like, oh, it's normal because see, normal people aren't fat. They're just not. You know, this this really pisses me off. This is this is another one of those things that really, really pisses me off to no end. Because this what this idiot says, the article is linked in the description. Oh, they and they do a lot more fucked up things at Amber Crumby and Finch I didn't even know about. If I'm mispronouncing Finch, like if it's Fitch or something, I really don't care. As far as I'm concerned, it's it's Amber Crumby and Bitch. That's that's what it is to me. But See they, see, they do a lot more fucked up things, but this is the main thing, because this, to me, is a symptom of the disease I said before, that is, stupidity. Th this, see, our culture, our culture is really, really fucked up, because there is this giant misconception that, that people need to look a certain way and dress a certain way in order to be attractive, in order to be beautiful, and let me tell you right now, that is fucking bullshit. That is fucking bullshit right there, okay? Th this, this entire conception that you need to be, you need to weigh this amount, you need to wear these kinds of clothing, I mean, what, you, you, oh, you have a great personality, well, that doesn't matter, look at the clothes you're wearing, you're wearing a freaking black shirt with a, with a skull on it that dissolves into crows, fucking awesome shirt, by the way, and you're just, you, you're not, no, you need to be wearing something like a button-up shirt with, like, little, looks like, light blue and that little drops like, just shut the fuck up! I literally, <laughs> I literally would take freaking Hoshmall here and freaking do a Zondatsu on you, Metal Gear Rising style, just to, just to shut you up, because... Quite frankly, I am sick of hearing about this stuff day in and day out. I am sick of 
of people attacking people who look a certain way or who weigh a certain amount just because they happen to weigh that amount or they happen to look that way. You know, just shut the fuck up. I'm so sorry that not everybody that not everybody wears the latest in designer clothing and not everyone weighs 108 pounds or not everyone weighs <laughs> Shut the hell up. I'm aware that this is rambling, but this is how angry it makes me because it's just... It, it really, really does make me mad because seeing stuff like this, reading an article like this just pretty much proves the point that... that proves the point that... It, that intolerance towards people is alive and well and if people are allowed to get away with saying stuff like this and and nobody comes down on them for it then it is a sign that people are okay with this shit this this idiot is saying and is that I have to say people I implore you when shit like this happens call them out on it call them out on this bullshit this this is a sign of just how freaking wrecked our culture is a sign of how our society is like it okay you know what it's like it, it, it's like this freaking tree growing out of the ground you got all these little roots spread out over yeah well the yeah well the roots have freaking worms in them they've got freaking parasites and bacteria freaking termites going everywhere eating it out alive and the more this happens the more effed up it's going to become so you know what you gotta do you just gotta you just gotta you just gotta cut out the fucking bad roots, throw them away, throw them in the fucking garbage, and just try again. Try a fucking again. That's really what I think would, would help our culture at this point, because stupidity like this should not be allowed to exist. You, you should not be able to, you should not be able to live on your own if you're this stupid. You should not be able you should not be able to do anything without someone watching you to make sure you don't fuck it up when you're this damn stupid. And you really shouldn't be allowed to sell clothing if you're going to be prejudiced against against larger people, against fat people, against overweight people. Because guess what? Overweight people, they need clothes too, and they'd like to look nice. Now you could argue the fact that, well, you know, if they want to wear those clothing, then why don't they just lose weight or something? You know, it's not that hard. Well, guess what, asshole? That's not the point. The point is that this kind of thing shouldn't happen. Th this kind of, of prejudice shouldn't happen to begin with. And not only that, but not everybody who's overweight suffers from an eating disorder or suffers from, like, or, or just can't, or just doesn't want to work out or something. Some people actually have medical conditions that make them obese, that make them overweight. Or some people are just naturally larger than other people. You ever hear of a glandular problem? That's actually a real thing. Yeah, a lot of, yeah, a lot of fat people make it up and they and they say that it's an excuse just because just because they don't want to work out and they don't want to eat healthy. Okay, I'll give you that, but some of them actually do have a fucking problem like that. And also, there's also the some people who are large who just don't give a shit and are completely fine with being large. Okay, if they're fine with it, but they want to look good, that's their business. If they want to wear your brand of clothing, that's good. When you alienate a group of people just because of how they look, that's discrimination. I'm sorry. It is. So, to Amercrombie and Finch, fuck you. You guys are assholes. And you know what? I hope, I hope, some, I hope that more people like Mr. Repsion, who I know has made a video by this point about it, I'm pretty much sure is all hell he has. I hope more people make a video about this because this really does deserve attention. Because something like this, it needs to be called out on its bullshit. Just because of the sheer amount of, of bullshittery <laughs> that's in it. <sighs> that's all I gotta say about it. Wrathful Lion out.